SURVEILLANCE VIDEO THAT CAPTURES A STORE CLERK TURNING THE TABLES ON A ROBBER. KENNETH GRAVES IS FACING ROBBERY AND OTHER CHARGES NOW. WLKY'S MARK VANDERHOFF SPOKE WITH THE CLERK ABOUT THE FRIGHTENING ENCOUNTER. MARK? WELL, RICK, VICKY, ACCORDING TO COURT DOCUMENTS, KENNETH GRAVES TOLD POLICE THAT HE WENT TO THE FOOD MART TO ROB IT TO FEED HIS DRUG ADDICTION. WATCH HOW THIS UNFOLDS. NO, I DIDN'T EXPECT this to happen that day. It was just an order in the, uh, it, it was just an, a regular day. It was around 3.30 p.m. on September 27th when Hassan Mian saw this man walk into the Mosin Food Mart on Kenwood Way. This surveillance video shows Kenneth Graves buying cigarettes, then pointing a gun in Mian's face and demanding money. You're ready to die. I mean, you don't know if you're going to die the next second or not. So you kind of think about from your childhood all the way up here, like, all the things you have done uh, done to hurt some uh, hurt some feelings or stuff like that, and you want to apologize or you want to say your last words to your family. But then Mion turns the tables and pulls out his own gun. Graves instantly surrenders, admits the gun is fake, and hands it over. Mion says he was thinking of his coworker when he decided to make a move. I don't want him to go over there and shoot him. So I so then I was like, well, yeah, I have to do what I need to do. The coworker Adam Greenup. Praised me on for keeping his cool. He took his time to think, and a lot of people might have shot him instantly or might have not, have, but at the end of the day, he did right. Mion says Graves told him the robbery was a prank before running out of the store. He says he doesn't believe him, but even if it was a prank, you need to respect other people and leave them alone because you don't know what that other person has on him, or you, you have no idea what the person is going through. So um, it can cost you your life. Now, police arrested Graves the next day while they were responding to a break in a few blocks away. And the apologies kept coming from Graves. He wrote this note which said, in part, I'm the idiot who put a gun in your face. I'm really sorry. Now, Graves is in jail and he's due back in court on Thursday. Live at Louisville Metro Corrections, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Thank you, Mark. Now, Kenneth Graves is also facing charges in four other pending cases. Two DUIs, reckless driving, and possession of drug paraphernalia. His criminal history includes other drug, alcohol, and theft convictions.